back and forth with this shit. Back and forth with this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Motherfucker empire for life. Yeah. 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 What's good, y'all? <coughs> y'all, excuse the shit. Excuse the shit out of me. <coughs> Welcome to the Late Night Ice Show. There's a bunch of shit going on on my feed, but I want to say thank you guys for tuning in. This is the Late Night Ice Show season. It doesn't get better than that. We got my man Austin coming on the interview pretty soon. We got a new game called Who's Next? To see who will be an enter in the slap or crappy show. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to forgive me because I'm always on Hennessy. You know, I do that, 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 that. But I want to say thank you guys. A shout out to my motherfucking nephew, Capo. He's in Mexico right now. I hope he's safe and having a good time. You know what I'm saying? With his other. And uh, I, I want to say congratulations to everybody who's been on the show. I want to thank everybody who's been tuning in. And really uh, um, tuning in for the late night hype show. Like I said, y'all, this is a ghetto show, y'all. Just to be blessed with y'all uh, saying that it's okay. And it's a really good uh, show and I'm entertaining. I really appreciate that, y'all. Excuse me. From the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate that. And what I'm going to do for season four is start giving away things for people who view this and are loyal viewers who like the page all the time and always shares my stuff we will be giving i will be giving out prizes pretty soon on that and not to mention we got a female slap it of the week battle i mean this is a monstrous move right here that i'm making and i just i want to thank every female artist that that did it like um uh uh queen stevie um Nefertari, uh, if I'm saying that right, if I'm not saying it right, please correct me. I'm, I I do apologize for that. Um, we got, uh, you know, what I'm saying too petty. You know, what I'm saying y'all y'all know her. You know, what I'm saying she also performed at my uh, at my show as well. You know, what I mean at the time, you know, it was barely coming up. So you know, what I'm saying this show actually too. Oh, I'm sorry. We also got, you know, what I'm saying Mitchell Lokes. You know what I'm saying? She's also going to uh, do her thing. And like I said, y'all, y'all could be singers or rappers and female type of stuff, even male stuff. And it doesn't matter, y'all. I would accept all. And I love R&B, y'all. Y'all don't really, really know me. I love R&B as well. You know what I'm saying? My first thing is rap. I ain't going to lie. But I like R&B. I like classic rock. I like a lot of shit. I like jazz and shit. There's a lot of shit that you don't know about. So like I said, uh, we got a great show. And we also got the Slap It. Or crap it show, you know what I'm saying? Slap of the week. Shout out to the champion Slim86, y'all. Because Slim86 is going to uh, uh, try to regain his title. And like I said, once you win five times, you will get 
and I was thinking a, uh, a, an award. We're, we're going to do that one time, and uh, next time, I'm going to do plaques this time, y'all. So, if you think you like that idea with the plaques more than an award, let me know, because that's still the same thing, but except it's a plaque. I think it's a good idea. My brother also came up with that. Shout out to uh, my big brother, Cap. He came up with that, y'all, to say do plaques instead because maybe uh, people don't want an award. And I think a plaque, when you hang it up, I think it's more honorable, I think. You know what I'm saying? So let me know what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, if Slim86 got four more to go, if he wins that, he wins that award, y'all. And you know what I'm saying? And you know, you know what I mean? It's going to be the name on there. And I do apologize for people that were upset. Uh, last weekend who lost and um, like I said shout out to uh, 40 Cal out there I know he's he's upset and all that but I just want to say um, it's not what you guys know and, and I'm going to say this live right now it's not what you guys know it's who's going to vote for you so whoever got the most votes and by the way the rules will be coming out because I'm going to tell you right now you cannot vote more than once if you do vote more than once and i see your name up there more than once that one vote won't even count so remember vote by the rapper's name if you guys are supporting the rappers and please like this page before you vote because that's what has to happen please like this page the original page not the one that people shares but my original page and my original page is storm via all right, y'all. We're gonna get we're gonna get in this real quick because I see a lot of people watching. Shout out to Alabama. Shout out to the South. You know what I'm saying? I have my boy, uh, my boy. Uh, excuse me. Sorry about that. I'm a little buzzing. My boy uh, B Chopper finna come up on here. He's from Alabama, y'all. He's from the South. Shout out to him and and actually reaching out to me. He knows my my man Rod Johnson, and Rod was one of the ones. That blessed me on the mic before a while back. So shout out to Rob Johnson as well. And um, and like I said, y'all, he is he is gonna challenge AC. AC is also from California, and AC is also a Central Valley artist as well. And they will be battling out to see who's gonna go next on the uh, Slap It or Crap It show. That's the one that's gonna be right after. Shout out to Rated. Rated Sosa as well. Rated Sosa is going to be... I hope all the artists is watching right now because it is an automatically disqualification if you guys ain't tuning in. Now, the fans and supporters don't have to tune in all the time if they don't want to. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, I advise you to do that because these artists work hard no matter how you feel about it. They work hard. They have dedication a lot to their music. And I would really respect it if the viewers or the fans of even their people, if they could just support and watch the whole show thoroughly and, and, and just recognize how much talent there really is and, and a lot of hidden jewels also in Fresno and everywhere else. And just like I said, y'all, the thing is about to be raw. We got Quest in here, y'all. Quest is a partner that I was going to work with um, with the shows, but like I said, things got a little bumpy on the bumpy road, and I had to regroup everything. But, y'all, shout out to Quest. Y'all, he's also going to be on the Slap It or Crap It show Slap of the Week. And like I said, how you win, it's not what you know. It's not who's the tightest on this. You can give your opinion on the comment, but you cannot be saying trash or anything like that to none of these artists. I will not allow it. I will erase it and probably block you. And 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 I don't have a problem with anybody on here. It's just the thing I do. It's called the support system, and, and I just need everybody respectful. Now, you could say crap it, and I'm talking about the viewers that don't want to vote and that are just on here just to be on here you know what i mean so like i said i i recommend you guys to vote for people and i recommend you guys to give your honest opinion but in a respectful way don't say the person's trash that is not acceptable don't say he's whack she's whack that is not acceptable okay anything else is probably acceptable if i allow it if it's a race that means it wasn't acceptable so here we go. This show is about to start soon. As soon as I get at least 15 viewers on here. And please be patient with me, y'all. Because things has been going a little, little bit crazy right now. We also got 
Did I name all the slapper the crappy people? Let me see, y'all. Because I, I, I could be... Yeah, we... Okay. Nefertiri, Quest, Slim86 is the champion, so he will go last. Y'all, if y'all the champion on here, whoever, if they take it away from Slim86, you guys are automatically last. That's the way I roll when it's a champion. So his slap will be last when that. We got Music Trivia also as well. We got Austin in the building for Music Trivia and the interview, so I'll probably be doing that after. Music Trivia, mention Lokes, y'all. She's been winning. I don't know how she does it, but she's been winning and shit. You know what I mean? Like I said, y'all, before I, I, before I uh, do anything else, I would like it if you guys like the page and share the page. Share it to all the groups, y'all, whoever's watching this right now. Shout out to everybody. Like I said, who likes the late night hype show? I really appreciate it, y'all. I, I, I'm very blessed. I'm very thankful that you guys are tuning in in the first place. And I want to say thank you to all the artists and thank you to every other person who participates in this game, y'all. We got Matt Dog as well and Elma on the movie trivia this time. So Matt Dog's going to give this a try. Um, I heard he's good with movies, so you know what I mean? I hooked him up with some good questions, just like Elma. I hope everybody's ready as well tonight because this shit is going down. This is a this is a good this is a good thing, you know, and I and I love representing for my town. I also love representing for hip hop. I love seeing you guys do what you do. It makes me pumped up to wanna do this. It makes me wanna do this for you guys. And I wanna thank every one of you guys. Not even just artists, I'm talking about people that participate on the music trivia game. And shout out I'm gonna say shout out to Alicia because she played the very first game since I first started that game. And she blew it up saying, come on, people, you could do it. And, and I just want to say shout out to Alicia. Shout out if you're watching this, Alicia. I really appreciate you. Thank you for thank you for everything. And for the first female to come on a slap it or crap it show, Nefertiria, she putting it down for y'all ladies out there. Y'all, y'all got to give her credit. She putting it down for all y'all ladies out there. She was the first one to go against the grain. You know what I mean? To go against the grain. You know what I mean? So, shout out to her. I, and I hope she's watching as well. Now, if I can get all the artists that, I, that are participating right here to just say, I'm here, or, I'm in this bitch, or anything like that. And I'll see it from the pop-ups right here just to see if you guys are in it. And I ask you guys to please share this. Ask your supporters to come watch this. Do what you have to do, but let them know first. They have to like this original page, not the one you shared, but the one that's live on my page, and to vote by name. And please do not vote twice or it won't count, and it might hurt your people who support you. A lot of people are wondering, you know, a lot of people are asleep right now, even on the West Coast, East Coast, Midwest, down South. But look, check this out. The voting for your artists ends at 2 p.m. tomorrow. So you ain't got to worry about that. After 2 p.m., though, once I say it's done after 2 p.m., anything after I say it's done, it's not going to count, y'all. So I hope y'all I hope y'all understood that correctly. And like I said, it's not what you know. So I'm. Not, it's not about who's the best rapper. And this is a fun fucking game, all right? I made this motherfucking show up years ago, and I'm finally doing it because thanks to Facebook, it has a live, so now I'm doing this shit for y'all. And like I said, this is a ghetto-ass motherfucking show, and and I just want to say thank you for you guys for tuning in. I will be on cable soon, season four, and I'll let you guys know the updates on that, but right now, I'm focused on this motherfucking uh, season right now, season three. We still got one more month to go. Thank you for the people who's been watching, and that's why we got upcoming people as well. Slim86, DJ Lee's next Saturday. Then we got uh, who, we got a bunch of motherfuckers. We got Sean B up in here. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Sean B. He's keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? Old school West Coast legend here right now. If y'all don't know, y'all better motherfucking know now. Because he will tell his side of the story. And that's what we want to hear in the interviews. Your side of the story. So every artist that wants to come on the show. And that wants to give their input and their their side of the story. on Even on how they feel about the rap game now. And then, y'all be more than welcome to message me. And if I got room for you, I'll work with you. But like I said in the beginning... 
the people that worked with me first will be the first people to work with me when I'm on cable. Thank you guys. So here we go. Let me get to uh okay, we got we got 10 people, so I'm gonna get to it now. And the first person I'm gonna play, this one's called Who's Next Up. And what I mean by that, who's next up was inspired by Bruce Lee, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure you seen him in the flyer. He's like, why? You know what I mean? He's, he's in that motherfucker like, hey, what's good? But uh, anyway, like I was saying, shout out to Alabama. The first person I'm going to play is B Chopper, y'all. This is who's next. This is the one to see who's going to go next round battle for for uh, the Slap It or Crap it show. So it's similar to that, y'all. It's called Who's Next. And I'm going to let y'all listen to Beat Chopper. Shout out to the South, man. He's from Alabama. Y'all, you got to give love. He has he has a lot of folks here, y'all. And I, and I hope a lot of supporters are watching him uh, tonight or tomorrow. To And, and, and a lot of support. Like I said, y'all don't have to watch the whole thing. But if you can, it'd be respectful to all the other artists and me as well. And I and I do appreciate your time and and, and 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 what you're doing as well. So like I said, please like the page before you vote. And please only vote once. So here we go. This is called Hurry Up and Buy from B Choppa. When advertising on YouTube, I know that making it That was the funniest shit I've ever been to right now. Authentic video with a clear he's gotta be doing, is the key Hey, he's got to be doing something if if if, if, if if there's ads coming on this shit, back and forth with this shit. Hey, that's me. Yeah. yeah. The fuck? Oh, here we go. Hurry up and buy. Be choppy, y'all. Hurry up and buy. Hurry up and buy. Hurry up and buy. <laughs> he said, hurry up and buy. Hurry up and buy. <laughs> Talking down on this heart, then it gets away. You see these tents 
and these scars, I'm legit with that. It's when the dope, they come to me and it's going now. What you know about it? Kids accountin' for snow it, man. I'm about four count a nigga, no account. Trap nigga need out cheese. Me and money like car the keys. You gon' start with easy be hard to squeeze, make a hard to sleep, you can your knees. Fool with the wrist, I cool with the shit. Maneuver with the bricks, we ain't new to this. The tools be equipped, my dude with the shit. So hurry up and buy and keep it moving, B. Hurry up and buy, hurry up and buy. Hurry up and buy, hurry up and buy. Hurry up and buy, hurry up and buy. Hurry up and buy. Hurry up and buy. Beat Chopper, I like that. Um, to me, I fit in that category of, of probably trap or something like that, but that shit was dope to me. Shout out to Alabama. My daughter also is in Alabama too as well. My oldest daughter, shout out to her as well. Mary, I love you. If you're watching this later or watching this now, and I uh, just want to say shout out to Alabama, man. He he put it down. So if y'all voting for uh, Beat Chopper, please put Beat Chopper instead of his... Uh, Facebook name and please put the number one on the side of that even ACs so that way it won't get mixed up with the other slap it or crap it um, uh, Artists as well. So please if you vote for B Choppa, please put number one by B Choppa's name and just like AC Please put number one as well. So I, I won't get them mixed up as the votes go on so I hope I got that clear to everyone. If you guys if you guys think it's clear, please give me that thumbs up so I can see the blue on there just to make sure everything is clear what I'm saying. Damn, is it late? Or oh, I'm not even seeing shit. Foot. Okay, we got one thumbs up. So I appreciate that. Thank you guys. I just wanted to make it clear again, like I said, for B Choppa, please put B Choppa. That's B. S H O P P A and put number one right after that so that way I know. Now the next man is from California, homegrown here. That'd be my boy AC. You know what I mean? So shout out to B Chopper. Like I said, don't let me get my opinion on it. I think I think it was a cool ass dope song. I think uh my man reminds me of Young Dolph, and, and I can say R.P. to Young Dolph. You kind of sound like Young Dolph. I know you probably have your own style and stuff, but man, you know, to sound like to sound like him, I, I think he's a young legend, man. And to sound like him, it, 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 it's, a, it's a cool honor, for I'm pretty sure, for yourself and stuff. So like I said, B. Choppy, you came out really dope on that trap shit, man. I thought it was really dope. So here we go. We got A.C. in the bill, and this one's called... California pain. Shout out to AC as well. Y'all, AC's been uh, listening and follow, uh, and, and also follows me just like I follow him on his YouTube page, y'all. And, and you know, there's these songs I put out, and they're all freestyle. They're all recorded on the phone, so they're all kind of scattered a little bit. Not really, you know, my best quality. But, you know, uh, a shout out to him, though, because, you know, he, he gave me a shout out on one of my uh, songs just like I did for him personally and i thought it was really dope that he liked that song called homeless that new thing that was inspired by pink floyd y'all so if you hear all that weird noise in the new music of mine that's it was inspired by pink floyd so i put so much different sounds in those musics that you probably wouldn't even think that it was me <laughs> so here we go ac y'all california pain he is the challenger tonight, so if y'all voting for him, please put AC1. That's A, capital A, C, and a 1. So thank you very much, y'all. Here it goes. AC, you next up, baby. Let's see. Where's no? Yeah, yeah. Going through this life, you got pawns every day It's hard to wake up with a smile on your face My city, your city, shit be all the same But I don't think they understand that California pain Going through this life, you got pawns every day It's hard to wake up with a smile on your face My city, your city, shit be all the same But I don't think they understand that California pain California pain I don't think they understand that California pain California pain, I don't think they understand that California pain. I'm not N O T O W 
away And I'm from that city where it's crazy and it's not pretend I'm from that dark hot place where the traffic is real When the feds hit the spot, she already know the deal Keep that rest on hush, my city not giving a fuck Ready to bull rush, anybody but the hater is good All of the violence and aggression from years of depression Trying to make the best of our situation But nothing is coming easy, so homie, believe me, it's nothing to take Everything you have in a quick blink and a flash Don't make me have to whoop your ass, I know you see the bull with a mask Hurry up and take me to the stash, when you got this the dream bitch thrown in the bag Ho, stay on that propane, but bitches ain't taxing Smoking on this tank and I won't get arrested Pray for a bag and that shit manifest it She put my dick out and the whole straight blast it Fucking up, daddy, but I learned from them lessons Got your lights down, had a young man stressing We don't give a fuck what it really is, you rap it Just to make it back home, it's always been a blessing Cali isn't hot, but I don't think you understand Californication, but you leave me in the body bag A little homie, how did that say? Listen to and that's something that you can really feel right here in Fresno, California. Going through this life, we got problems every day. It's hard to wake up with a smile on your face. Hey. My city to your city should be all the same. But I don't think they understand that California pain. Going through this life, we got problems every day. It's hard to wake up with a smile on your face. My city to your city should be all the same. But I don't think they understand that California pain. California pain. I don't think they understand that California pain. California pain. I don't think they understand that California pain. Really dope, dope song. Now, shout out to AC because he made that song personally, y'all, for the show. That was a dope motherfucking song, y'all, just like the other one, y'all. And like I said, it's going to be very hard and very difficult to vote for what was, what, which one was the best slap. But y'all, like I said, if you voting for AC, I need you to put capital a c and one and please do not vote and me being unprofessional tonight because i'm so fucked up and drunk uh here we go the slapper the crapper rules y'all i forgot to give them to you but it's like this to win you must have the viewers vote by your artist name and hit the like button that means hit the like button on on my show y'all right there that you see and then it says the artist with the most names voted wins and will be announced the next day at 2 p.m. That'll be the last time people could vote. So if it's 159, y'all can vote. Once it's 2 p.m. and I put that motherfucking message in, it's over. You cannot vote no more. So it won't count, y'all. And please do not vote extra. And then it says fans and supporters must be respectful in the comments, y'all. So if y'all feeling it or whatever, that's fine. If you're not, you can, you're can you allowed to say crap and stuff like that. But if you start saying trash, you will be deleted. And a chance to where your artist won't get your, your uh, vote. Sorry about that. And like I said, here it goes. Number four, the same person can't vote twice. So if you voting twice tonight, and get me confused, then your first vote won't even count. So I'm telling y'all right now, do not vote twice, only vote once. And like I said, please like the page first before you vote. Because that's how it's going to count. So here we are, y'all. I mean, you. this was called Who's Next. AC battled out with Beat Chopper. I thought they was both cool. And that's why I'm saying this is going to be a tough one, you know. And even though I'm from California, uh, you know what I mean? Like I said, Cali come first in my heart. But like I said, though, I mean, to, to hear both of them, it, it was real good quality music. I really liked it the way they flowed on it. And like I said, it's up to y'all, though. It's not up to me. It's up to the viewers and the voters and your supporters on who's going to win because the most votes wins. And like I said, please like the page before you vote. I want to say this one more time. Please like the play, play, page before you vote. See, I'm over here getting tongue-tied and shit because I keep saying shit. But like I said, y'all, I mean, it doesn't get better than this. This show is getting bigger. We have a female battle next week. We have a lot of things going on. So, guys, I mean, uh, like I said, things are going to be really cool. Like I said, this is only the ghetto half of it. 
when you got the artists right now that are participating that want to show love to Storm Malate, share it in the show, want to be a part of it, even the players that are not artists, y'all are going to be the first ones I call when I'm on cable TV uh, after summer and tell you guys, hey, you want to be a part of this? Because this is this is this is what started me. And, and, and I just want to thank every viewer also for participating and, and looking at this shit. Because this is, like I said, this is a ghetto as fuck show. But I really appreciate y'all really tuning in. I really do. From the bottom of motherfucking chorizo, man. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I meant the heart. You know, don't, don't get me wrong. You know, talking about the heart, you know. I thought I, I, I rhymed, but I guess I rhymed a little weird and shit. You know, it wasn't like that, you know. Like I said, from the heart, y'all. Thank y'all very much. And like I said, let's move on. Now that I sh showed the rules, the rules are the same to this called Slap of the Week. And the champion, you already know, it was Slim86, y'all. So he will be going last. And who I got first is Nefertiri. She it, it, The uh, song is called Queen Shit. And like I said, shout out to her. She was the first one to say, hey, what's up? I'm I'm a girl. Am, am I ready? And shout out to you because you inspired me to do a girl version of that. So shout out to you, Nefertiri. I really appreciate it. And, and you calling out. And I don't mean by disrespect calling them out. I meant like getting them involved in this female rap thing. I really appreciate it. And, 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 and that's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? It's all love from here. And I would love for all the female artists to come out, whether they sing or rap, come on the show, and I'll play that shit and see if the viewers like it. All your supporters, please watch this. Here it goes. Queen shit from Nefertiri. Queen Nef on the track. I got niggas on my line I don't know, y'all. 
don't think y'all fucking with the queen shit, y'all. That shit was slap. Shout out to Nefertiri. Like I said, uh, the name is spelled N-E-P-H-A-T-E-R-I, y'all. And you don't have to put a one on that one because this is the original Slap It or Crap It. That was only for AC and B Choppa. So B Choppa's uh, fans or supporters or even new supporters or new fans, uh, if you'd like to B Choppa, vote B Choppa 1. And if you liked it AC that did uh, California Pain, then you're going to put uh, AC capitalized number one. Now, if y'all vote for Nefertiri, like I said, I spelt her name already. So just do it regular. And like I said, please don't vote twice. Like I said, I'm going to give my honest opinion. And that shit slap. Uh, I don't know who did that beat, but that beat was slapping too. Uh, you got down on that shit. Um, I mean, you sounded like you, you, you was on the radio 38 times and shit. So, I mean, that was a really good track. I was feeling that. Shout out to Nefertiri. Like I said, one of the first women to be brave enough to even come on this motherfucking show and lay it down like that with a bunch of men. Cause you know, you know, uh, it, it's been, you know, you already know, man started the hip hop, but like I said, women's been involved in it so long. You had Queen Latifah, MC Light, oh, we talking about 80 shit, you know what I mean? So you had uh, girls already playing the role of the 1980s already, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to Nefertiri, you, you test shit slap. Y'all, that's, that's called queen shit, and if y'all voting for that, you already know, say her name. Say her name, say her name. You know you got to do. So here we go, y'all. Shout out to Nefertiri. And like I said, if all the artists can please tell me they're still in here, please let me know, y'all, because I need to know. So that way y'all won't get disqualified. And like I said, shout out to everybody right now tuning in. Those that are not even artists, thank you very much for always tuning in to the Late Night Hype. I really appreciate you. God bless you tonight. And please be safe from this COVID again. Once again, y'all. Keep your children safe and always tell your family member or a friend you love them because you never know what's going to go on. Fuck all the grudges and all that and all that dumb shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you only live once. You know what I mean? So here we go. We're going to go with Quest. You know, and this one's called Pain. Like I said, this, you know, I think Quest put a visual on here, but it don't, it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not showing visuals uh, this time, but I am going to play his song regardless and this and shout out to Quest also for participating, hit me up and wanting to be a part of the late night hype show. God bless you, Quest. I, I really appreciate you to take your time out here and, and the late night hype show and everybody else, B Chopper, AC that just went on Nefertiri, please stay tuned because I don't want you guys to get disqualified. Y'all y'all shit slap. And I'm just being honest. I know a lot of people be like, man, you like everybody shit. I'm like, nah. I'm a genuine motherfucker. I know about, uh, I've been doing music for years, man. And it's not sometimes about how good they are. It's about what motivation they working with. How much ins inspiration they got. How much love they got for it. And that they can only get better in time goes. So you you can't knock somebody when they're when they're all oh, they're sorry. Nah, you cannot knock somebody like that, y'all. Y'all gotta help them motherfuckers. Y'all gotta help them. If you think they're sorry, like I said from show from back in the day shows, help them, man. And I know it's a competition, but don't think of it that way, because it's still your brother. In the Bible that's your brother, your sister. So help one another. That's what it's all about. And then go against each other. But help them out. Help them get what you know, your knowledge, help them out. If you think they're whack, help them out. Don't don't say it on the comments. Go up to them like in person or go up to them in their messenger and say it because that's very disrespectful to even say it on a comment. And I just want to say it like that, y'all. And I just keep it real. Here it goes like this. This is Quest, y'all, and this is pain. I do apologize. Do apologize, Quest. Here we go, right here. This is you, my brother. Let's do this shit. I already know this is going to be deep. And I remember, y'all, I already heard this. I'll be right back. Struggle Music, Mike House. Six 
15 bars, man, you know. Living proof. 16 bars is what I spit. Young quest station is not the little bitch. Look at my pupils, I'll be ready to pull the lick. Did three years because somebody had to snitch. Status cousin, put sober for being buzzing. Hoes be loving fresh out and still thugging. Niggas be bugging because they brought them dick shoving. Hey, if you won't, I bet that you be mugging. It's a cold game. Boy, don't go against the flame. Called you a bitch so hard if it with James. Quest the name, don't pull the made a train. When you diss the no, then you going to get the grain. Can't walk in these nights, I'm in it waiting for the pain. Ask my bro, he gon' tell you the same thing. Niggas that strange, so they face a real range. My cousin that snitch caught the pool up in the game. A full crowd, so your boy moving fast. All get trapped through the town, eyes open for the task. Rocking off black, why they pointing up at my ass? Hope like race flies on, it's just like trash. Don't think that I'm mad, but in the booth I get mad. Saving sons and daughters for short, but so sad. Still proud to bust me like the boy up in the jack. Press ghetto, crack the niggas like the good fellows. Still feel that my grandma cool, tend to be the Daryl. Pulling the gray, stand stuck like a scarecrow. Stay on my quest, throw my fist like a King Pharaoh. Throw up your fist like a King Pharaoh. I pop the light down like the movie Juice. I hit the cypher in the booth, and T here with snow. We get the gas and then we smash and chuck it up the deuce. Plus this garden pill busting with a riding tube. I bet that too when the proof I have her off the roof. Can't be choosing the moon of boppers like them whole shoes. Good things happen when you're back and broad, keep it true. No gang, it ain't no laughing, you can't walk these shoes. Two strikes is what you're asking, so I keep it real. You know the deal, taking chances, cutting on the steel. Plus this beat got me bobbing like a pot the pill. Just got out for two feet flat because I had some kill. It's right to bend the system, nigga, tell me best to chill. Case I'm back in the ball of beat, bro, they break the screw. You know the bad name, bro, so I switch the heel. And if you cross one, I'm out, I'm coming out the drill, nigga. Dope song right there, man. Y'all, shout out to Quest, y'all. That was a dope ass song. When I heard that shit, I, I felt that. You know what I mean? Dope ass song, like I said, from Quest, man. They coming. Nefertaria Quest is coming, y'all. They coming with some heat tonight. It's going to be even hard for me to decide on who was good. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just being honest. I mean, they came with some heat tonight. Um, I felt more of a, uh, a, 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 a real good an approach that Quest did right there. That was some real good music, y'all. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's, it's difficult, but like I said, yeah, everyone has their own style, y'all. And everyone has their own taste. So just because someone plays drill music, you don't have to like drill music just because that's popping right now. Or just because someone likes West or from the West Coast doesn't mean they necessarily have to like the West Coast. Or... Like I said, you guys get the hint. You know what I mean? So, like I said, it's up to y'all. It's up to the voters. It's up to y'all. But like I said, right now, everybody came with heat. And I'm just being honest. You know what I mean? From all different styles, all different angles, people are coming with heat. So, shout out to Nefertari and Quest right now on the Slap It or Crap It because they coming with heat, y'all. And if y'all want to vote for Quest, that will be, like I said, if y'all ain't played no motherfucking RPG games on the games... You don't know how to spell quest. Or if you ain't a Final Fantasy game. Uh, like I said, anyway, let's cut that shit short. Q. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. I don't want to look stupid. Q. W. S. I mean, sorry. Q. W. E. S. T. Y'all, that's quest. And that, and that song was pain. So like I said, if y'all voting for quest tonight, that was quest, y'all. So go ahead and... Uh, Go ahead and uh, hit that, that, that. Now, the one I want to tell y'all that, um, the next one I want to tell y'all, and like I said, thank you guys for also still tuning in. And like I said, for all the people that are supporting other artists on here, I ask that you please stay tuned in. You don't have to, but I ask that you please do stay tuned in. I know the artists have to. Because that's an automatic disqualification if they're not if they're not supporting one another. It's called the support system, y'all. And I just want to say, y'all, for everybody that is supporting all the other artists, just please stay tuned to all the episode, y'all. This is a really good show, y'all. And I'm doing it for y'all out there. And I'm doing it for artists to come up my city to your city. 
It really doesn't matter. But like I said, yeah, I'm from this city. I represent Fresno. Yeah, I'm from California. I represent California. But it's California love. I don't know if you heard about Mac Dre, but it's California love, meaning it's love everywhere, y'all. And like I said, this is what it's all about. It's about hip-hop, rap, and what you know. And also, singing. If y'all even do rock, Y'all can come on here. I'm just saying, y'all. Y'all can... It, I like rock, too. If y'all did rock, I'm telling y'all right now. If y'all do rock, reggae, or anything, y'all are more than welcome to play this. It's not just a hip-hop, y'all. It's not just hip-hop. So if you know bands out there that want to... And that got YouTube uh, YouTube music or anything like that, y'all. Come on. Come on. Tell them to message me. Storm via... And let me know what's good, because I'll put them on the Slap of the Crapper show. It's not necessarily hip-hop. It doesn't necessarily have to do with hip-hop, because, y'all, I'm all gen uh, genres when it comes to music like that. It could even be indie music. It's up to the voters, whoever, what song they like that night. So it could be even a singer against three rappers. If they like that R&B song more than the three rappers, you can't hate on that. They voted most for that. So that's all, that's all I'm saying. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? It's all about the votes. It's not about who, what, how much more you know than the next artist. It's about the voters tonight. And like I said, y'all can vote until tomorrow to 2 p.m. And let me just remind y'all, <clears throat> let me just remind y'all for the B Chopper fans, supporters, or the new, new ones, please vote by B Chopper number one. And if you voted for AC out of California, please vote capital AC and put a one on there so that way I won't get it confused with these artists that they're doing like this. So the next artist, um, Ray Sosa, uh, I, I'm, I, that's my boy. I remember, uh, doing a lot of tracks with him. Um, uh, I do want to play, I do want to play a track that I did do in the studio, y'all, later on, but right now, I want to, I want to say shout out to Ray Sosa. you know what I mean? He was one of the one of the dopest artists out here, really no named, that actually said, you know what, well, yeah, I'm down, because I reached out to him. I said, hey, you know what I'm saying, ready, you know what I'm saying, you down, and whoopity whoopity whoop, I told him how it goes, and he said, yeah, he's down. So I hope he's watching right now. I hope he's not disqualified, y'all. I hope he's watching right now. Shout out to Rady, man. You still my homie. You already know what time it is, and I hope you on here watching. And the future, you already know we're going to work together. You already know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? A shout out to our Block family and everyone else, everywhere else. Y'all, so here it goes. His name is Ray De Sosa. This one's called Jealousy. Like I said, um, I picked this one out for him. So let's see. Let's see how it goes right here. Ray De Sosa, y'all, Jealousy. <laughs> Small circle, small circle. That's real. Little old man. Tears, the jealousy, the money made the enemies. Homies on the fly, but this life to me is everything. Ready for whatever though, bitches ain't no kidding me. Reality go hard and it's a gamble when you win. All they see is the jealousy, the money made the enemies. Homies on the block, but this life to me is everything. Ready for whatever though, bitches ain't no kidding me. Reality go hard and it's a gamble when you win. Fuck trust, I don't put it on anybody. They call me shy to a gash with the body. Woo! Like second letter, that's Bulldogs in the rocket. I chop a whole 50, boy, we really get a slide. Ain't no fun making the drill, it's getting ill. Black hearted, love for the murder, that's kill, kill. Fresh, no, the love for my city has been real. These fools is just capping, they doing it for the kills. Damn, we're going to start a gang, land don't play. BSG, RP, to my dogs in the rain. See, the hoes down, bitch, I bang for the town. All I'm seeing is a jealousy, they lost their family. A lot of homies turn down for the dope they smoke. Can't even trust y'all homies when you sell it. Go, hate to see you count shits with your mobile phone. Ready to to kill them. On this microphone, all I'm seeing is the jealousy. The money made the enemies. Homies on the fly, but this life to me is everything. Ready for whatever though, bitches ain't no kidding me. Reality go hard and it's a gamble when you win. All I'm seeing is the jealousy. The money made the enemies. Homies on the fly, but this life to me is everything. Ready for whatever though, bitches ain't no kidding me. Reality go hard and it's a gamble when you win. My brother Scarface got that belt thing. Won't catch bodies, 
we hit the leaves out the spot, man. Come the code defended on side and I saw my lonely. The Ruger got packs to smoke the shells only. Scott got that word to fuck as fuck the police. Also with that AP9 from ponies. Eagles rest in piss, that's on the OG. Living through the wars on shooting shit like I'm on. Hold up with that chopper knock them down, fuck jealousy. East side down fell. For the seven get green. And in the state money, got me feeling like they can see. Shout out big people with them hands on everything. Joseph, man, you came with that motherfucking flow, my nigga. I mean, I know a lot of people, you know, uh, like I said, y'all, this is going to everybody. And like I said, there's no disrespect to anybody's hoods if you guys are playing political type of things. This is just rap, y'all. He put it down. He's just telling you where he's from, where he's at, y'all. And this is all love from everywhere, y'all. And I just want to tell y'all that right now. I lived on the same block on the one hundred side. I lived also on Washington Street, where I got all my game from everywhere. To be honest with you, I was an everywhere kid, but mostly I stood there and on Washington Street. And like I said, y'all, it's what what you guys been through, it brings out in music. So if you guys you know, what you guys been through is, is what you guys are going to put on music eventually because that's what you guys feel. And I feel like everyone right now tonight did just that. And like I said, y'all, you know, he came with that heat, Ray the Sosa. I already know he comes with heat. Me and him fucked with each other already. We got a couple of songs together. If y'all don't even know, now y'all know. And we might even work with together for the future, y'all. Because like I said, I'm doing one project with my niggas that I started with. And that's Gator Empire. And after that, I'll, I'll, I'll probably do features and stuff. I know, uh, shout out to AC. I know he, we, we gonna work together. Shout out to, I, know I still gotta work with the General. So shout out to the General. I still, I still wanna work with a lot of people, y'all, that I haven't got to work with. But like I said, when I make a solo project, that will be my last one during the summer. Will be Gator Empire featuring Crispy Stacks, El Capo, and as me, Storm Latte, and hopefully we can get Ghost on there. So shout out to Ghost. Ghost, if you're watching this, Cuddy, I love you. And I know we all going through it, but like I said, Cuddy, um, I need you on this project. I know you probably ain't been doing nothing for a long time, but I need you on this project. At least one project. Just give me just one project. You know what I'm saying? Please, Cuddy, I beg you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, sea Wicked as well. If Sea Wicked's watching or Sea Wicked's gonna watch this, Sea Wicked, I know you doing things and you know, I know you're very busy and stuff, but if you could please at least be on this album as the Gator Empire reunion and maybe we could discuss about more things happening, bringing more people on that's been on this shit because like I said, you only live once, so all that negativity shit gotta go, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you only live once, you know what I'm saying? So, meaning if that person died, you didn't talk to her, imagine how you feel. You know what I'm saying? You will live with the regret for the rest of your life and that's not what you want. If you have a heart, that's not what you want. You don't want to live with that regret, y'all. You want to call a motherfucker up one day and say, I love you. So here we go, y'all. We got the champion next, Slim 86. Slim 86 uh, showed me this. Like I said, I heard all these before, except Rated Sosa's. I didn't get to hear that. I probably got to go back with, like I said, I heard it when I was getting my Hennessy. Because, you know, I always got to take some shots of Hennessy. And um, and I was like, that shit's dope. You know what I'm saying? Nefertari came out dope. Raider Sosa came out dope. All, everybody right now came out dope. They came with their hard hitters. I'm pretty sure a lot of people act like they watch the show. But I know they've been watching the show because they came out with hard hitters this weekend. You know what I mean? And like I said, it's only going to get better. The competition's going to get better. But like I said, it's all fun, y'all. 
It's all fun, and it's not what you know. It's not who's the best. It's about how many votes you get at the time being. And like I said, like it and please share it, y'all. And if you don't even vote, please like it and share it everywhere, y'all. And I really do appreciate y'all hanging around on the Late Night Hype Show tonight because we still got way more to go. And like I said, Slim 86 six is next. And, uh... Do I gotta look for his? Oh, shit. Okay, guys. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me, uh... Don't trip, y'all. My bad. My bad, Slim. Let me get you in, man. He is the champion, y'all. And right now, like I said, if y'all gonna vote for Rated Sosa, please put Rated Sosa. That is R-A-Y-T-E-D Sosa. I'm pretty sure you know how to spell Sosa. So, like I said, if y'all want to uh, uh, do Ray Sosa and vote for, for vote for him, Ray Sosa, y'all. And like I said, here it goes. Here's my man's in them. He made this song also special for the show. He kept it a secret away from everybody. And shout out to Slim80 for even taking the time to even do this. Because he said this competition this weekend was going to be off the charts so he wanted to make sure he has something proper for y'all so listen to slim 86 y'all i'm gonna go smoke a motherfucking cigarette before my last break i already heard this song but tell me what y'all think and vote for slim 86 if y'all vote for slim 86 it's called side bitch <laughs> And I know he's going to be on the show soon, but I just want to say he is also a DJ, y'all. And just because he is very loyal to the soil and very connected on the string attached of their messages, I just want to say shout out to Slim86 for also doing this as well. And also, Slim, I want to tell you, what the fuck? I'm drunk as fuck. I might play this back because I forgot what the fuck I was going to say. I'm drunk as fuck, y'all. I'm trying to maintain, y'all. Give me some motherfucking love out there, y'all. I just want to say, like I said, shout out to Slim86. If y'all vote for Slim86, that's S-L. 
I am 86, y'all could just put 86, don't need to do the 86, just do the 86 number, y'all, do the fucking 86 number, alright, now, let me know what y'all think about that, y'all, 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 I mean, we was hit with some numerous hits, y'all, I mean, hit after hit after hit, but like I said, it ain't up to me, it's up to y'all at the end of the day, who's gonna get the most votes, y'all, who's gonna get the motherfucking most votes, and like I said, I mean, this has been a blessing for all of us, even for me, for y'all to tune in and give these artists credit. I, I feel like they deserve a lot of credit, y'all. And like I said, because it's not it's not about who's the best, y'all. It's about how their motivation is and, and what they're doing, y'all. There, There's a lot of people that say, yeah, there's a lot of people that can rap. There's not a lot of people that's doing it like they're doing it. They're actually doing it, you know what I mean, no matter if they can rap or not, they're actually doing it, they're putting themselves out there, which I give respect to every artist doing that, if you do that, that means you're trying to, you're trying to do something, which means you want to learn more, you want to, you want to grow, it, it, and I really appreciate every artist, like I said, that's been on my show since three years ago, when I started with ZigZag, and like I said, the show is only growing, y'all. I'm going to be on cable next time for season four. I mean, and like I said, everybody that's been on these other seasons, I'm going to ask them personally if they really want to be on the cable. Because this is going to expand and hopefully grow to where, you know, one day they'll get me to really do something like that and I can feed my family. I could be in a big ass house like I won one or two all my life and I could just live love and, and, and donate everything I can because I want to help my community out Fresno California I want to help everybody out and 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 also donate to Pavarello who when I was when I was a kid when I was broke when I was homeless and and, and, and homeless as shit you know I, I my dad used to take me to uh to Pavarello a few times where I when I didn't have nothing I had that, and it, it fed me. So I do want to give back to the homeless. I want to give back to people, and I really do want to do that. So in order for me, for me to do that, I got to keep doing what I'm doing. And it's thanks to you guys that is tuning in. It's thanks to you guys for keeping my show alive. And I thank you guys for keeping my show alive. Artists who come on here, regular people who come on here, I thank you guys for coming on my show and making this possible for everyone else to watch. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. You just don't know how much I appreciate it. And now, y'all, we got the music trivia game coming on. The music trivia game is based on rules the same way as the movie. So I'm only going to say this once. The rules to the music trivia game and slash movie... It goes like this. Number one, cannot have outside help or use the phone. So if I see you looking more than once over here for a long time, I know somebody's trying to tap in and tell you, hey, this is what it is right here. I can't have you do that. Please be respectful to everyone and your opponent, should I say. And number two, you will have 15 seconds to answer. If you don't answer in 15 seconds, we move on. Number three, you must answer three right out of the four questions to even win. If we happen to go to sudden death, y'all, you guys rematch again. So here it goes again. This, this right now, we're going to get into the movie trivia first. I'm going to get a hold of Mad Dog. Mad Dog is finna be on here, y'all. Shout out to Mad Dog the Outlaw. Hopefully he's watching, and let's see if we can get a hold of him. We're gonna see. Oh, hold on. I was supposed to move this shit earlier. I was supposed to move. I mean, I was supposed to move that. Shit. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing right now, but y'all, I'm trying to do what I do. So here it goes again. Let me get a hold of my partner, uh, uh, Mad Dog, because right now we're playing the move move trivia. So let me see if I can get Mad Dog on the phone. Supposedly, everybody's been crediting saying he is a good guy on the motherfucking music, music trivia game. So we're gonna see if he's if he's if he's right there now. Every artist, if you're w still watching, please, I need y'all to say I'm in the fucking billing or anything like that, just so that way I know all the artists are still on this. And I do apologize. That's why it's called the late night hype show, 
because it's at 10 p.m. West Coast. And I do apologize for everybody also being on the East Coast or Midwest, down south. Like I said, it is a late show, y'all. That's why it's called the Late Night Hype Show. I just want to let y'all inform that as well. But like I said, everybody who's voting for all these artists that I just played, you are you are able to vote until 2 p.m. tomorrow. Just please vote once, not twice, or your vote won't count. And possibly the people that you're supporting will lose because they don't have enough votes. So I hope I'm clear on that. And like I said, let's get let's get a hold of uh, Mad Dog. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me tap in with Falk Falk, cause he he hit me up. He said, "Hey, let me do that shit." I said, "Okay." So you know, I want to tap in with my fella fella, and uh, we're gonna do it like that. I do apologize. The uh, what the fuck is going on? Okay, here we go. I do apologize, y'all. Here it goes, y'all. Mad Dog right now. M movie trivia. For do you guys that are playing, you will not be able to see me until the end of the show because the people got to hear you. So what I do is put my phone up. Hey, Storm, I'm at work, food. Oh, you're at work, food? I'm not worried, though. My bad. Ooh, okay. It's all good. It's all good. All right. Well, I'll hit you up later then. Appreciate you, Storm. My bad. Oh, no. It's all good, brother. It's all good. Everybody has their lives. It's all good, Mad Dog. Yes, sir. All right. Much love, baby. Yes, sir. All right. One love. All right. As you know, Mad Dog said he was that. Work. I wish I could have got informed, but you know what? Sometimes work calls in real late and be like, hey, I need to get your ass down here in 30 minutes. So I know I respect it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? You know, and that's the only way you make a living at work. <laughs> but that shit is crazy. That nigga said he's at work. But here we go. Elma's finna play anyway, because Elma's automatically the winner. But it's fun to see this, y'all. So Elma will still play. Because I got some questions for her. But like I said, she's the automatically winner for that one. Shout out to Elma. She is winning these things, y'all. But I, I, I do have some good some good movie trivia questions for her. So let's see if we can get a hold of her, y'all. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hello, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, there you are. Oh, shit, you popped open like you scared the shit out of me. I remember one time somebody did that. They scared the shit out of me. It was dark one time, and then I was like, oh, shit. It was literally like Twilight for a minute. I was like, hey, are you okay, Elma? Like, you know what I'm saying? Then you popped up out of nowhere. I was like, okay. <laughs> well, I just want to tell you, even if you... Even if you uh, don't get all the answers or get some answers, I just want to tell you congratulations. You're moving on automatically. Matt, Matt Dog accidentally, uh, I guess he, he had to go to work. So, you know what I'm saying? You automatically win this. And like I said, y'all, to play this, you could be anybody. You don't have to be an artist. So if you want to play this, let me know. You pop up like this on here, but like I said, you won't be able to see me until the end of the show because I have to put my phone right there by the other phone so I, they can hear me. So right now, you're looking at the ceiling, but I'm pretty sure after you get off, you'll be looking at yourself on here. So I do apologize for everybody like that. But I want to say thank you, Elmo, for playing all the time and participating. Are you ready for the number one question? Sure. All right, here it goes. Who was the star... In Rotten Green Tomatoes, the movie. Oh man, there's a few of them. Uh, the, the, main the, the main star. The main star. Give me the main star. Uh, I know Mary Stuart Masterson was in it. Uh, I'll give you a hint. She played in a lot of great movies and she's Caucasian, I believe. Oh my gosh. You got three seconds. 
Oh, I'm sorry. You got like four seconds. Well, now you got three. Mary, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's okay. Let me give. Let me give you the answer. It was Kathy Bates. She was the main person in Fried Green. She was the main one. It popped up in my Google. <laughs> it popped up in the Google. <laughs> I didn't even know that. I do. I, I do like that movie. Actually, I've watched that movie one time. But yeah, um, because it had Jessica Tandy. And y'all don't get me twisted. Shit, I like rap still. Just because I like that movie doesn't mean I don't give a fuck. I like movies like that. I like to see with the bees and shit like that. Have you ever tasted fried green tomatoes? Go to Huckleberries. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was fried green. So is there fried green fried eggs and ham too? And they're delicious. Okay, is there fried greens and eggs ham, too? I had never tasted that, but apparently my kids have. What? Oh, that's incredibly crazy. Nice. Okay. All right, here it goes. Number two. Are you ready for the number two question? Sure. Who made the film Mad Max? There was two people. Who made that film? The oh hint was two people. Mm, I'm gonna think. May, is it like um, James Cameron? Um, this is the original Mad Max the original movie. Original Mad Max. Yeah, the original. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you that the original um, Mad Max original movie. Original Mad Max. I'm sorry, you sounded like Terminator Scott? right now. I couldn't hear you. Is it like Ridley Scott? Um, Ridley Scott? Uh, James Cameron. Um, mm. I'm trying to think who else would have uh, been that time. Okay, the time is Rick. up. I have to uh, tell you this. Are you ready for it? Sure. George Miller, Brian Kennedy. Yeah, I have no idea who those guys are. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. I just looked that shit up. <laughs> now, this is a true or false question. Are you ready for this? Okay, go on. Star Wars has nine movies all together. Is that true or false? Oh, my God. Let me think about this. Five, um, six, seven, <laughs> Just thank you really hard. Right, wait a minute. Now my question is this: Is this does this include like the rogue ones at the rogue one and some? Oh god. These are all the Star Wars. The ones that say Star Wars on it. The whole Star Wars trilogy. The only ones that say Star Wars on it, though. Only Star Wars. Is it true or false that they came out with nine Star Wars movies? The title Star Wars. Or is it false? Uh, I'll give you I'm two more seconds because I know it's rough. I'm going to say true. I'm going to say true. That is correct. You are right. I'm so yeah, glad you thinking, came. You got something I was right. The Here. first three, the other three, and then I was thinking. Right, about right. They got the three more. Ones, there you and then go. The other ones, but, mm -hmm. Okay. So, so number four. Are you ready with the number four question? Sure. Okay, on the original Karate Kid, what was Daniel's trainer's name? Uh, Miyagi. What was it, though? The full one. What did they call uh, him? It was Miyagi. Joseph. But what was in front of Miyagi? Uh, it starts with an N, I believe. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'm going to give you that because that was it. It was Mr. Miyagi, but it's the same thing. I just wanted to get the whole thing, though. That's why. But you know what? That No, no. You, yeah, you're correct, though. You got the first name right. That was hard enough. And you won two out of three questions for the movie thing. And guess what? You are already moving on and advancing because... Mad Dog couldn't make it. He was at work, and it's understandable. You know what I mean? People have their own yeah, lives and stuff happens. like that. Yeah, it yeah. happens. But I want to say, do you want to give a shout-out to anybody and everybody? Yeah, um, actually, I want 
actually, I want to give a shout out to Alicia. I actually met her at her comedy show on this past Monday. Okay. She was probably one of the coolest people I've ever met. Really nice. Right, right. Um, I want to also give a shout out to my comedy co-producer, okay. uh, Julian. Okay. Because uh, we had an amazing night on Monday. I, I seen it. I seen the pictures, girl. I seen them. I was like, okay, <laughs> Julian, y'all working like that? Okay. It was on a Monday, yeah. too. It was... It was on a Monday. It's and crazy. We did another comedy show on Monday, May sixteenth. Oh. And let's just say that every the people who attended our comedy show in March this right. past Monday, okay, they were so motivated and so excited and enjoyed the show so much, okay, that we actually sold twenty one out of twenty five tables in a Wow, day. wow, twenty one, and these are amazing. Uh, so we're that something is awesome is going on here in Selma, you right. know, and you guys don't want to miss it. And I'm right. looking forward um, to doing a lot more events, not only in Selma, uh, but in other areas. And um, we have we're working on doing something um, in summer. So right. at, okay. hopefully we'll be talking to Pioneer Village and getting everything situated. And hey, y'all know I'm doing something in the summer too, though, right? <laughs> yes. Hey, you know what uh, though? You know what though? Great. I've been I've been looking for collaborations, and I would love to collaborate with y'all soon. Collaborating? Oh yes, most definitely. I, I think we were talking so, the same uh, time, the same thing you. at the same time. That shit was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, um, I got to um, become Facebook friends uh, with Kinsey Rose, and you know, and then see some. Oh yeah, Kinsey's um, dope too. Shout out to know, Kinsey, y'all. Uh, I love. Hopefully I loved um, hearing music on your show from like I Am the General and um, a lot of other folks. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. He's you know, dope too. Shout out to I Am the General. You know, I'm watching, I'm listening, and. Um, I really appreciate yeah, that. I really definitely. appreciate that. <laughs> and you know what? But, and you know what? Yeah, like I said, your husband are, is more than welcome to come on the cable show because he was the first one to mess with me. And you know what? He did things personally. That's between me and him. And I'm not saying in a bad way. I'm saying in a good way. He did me a lot of good favors. Great favors that I'll never forget. And I really appreciate him. And like I said, Julian Aguilar is a real motherfucker. And, and that's just coming from street slang. He's a real motherfucker. Now, uh, professionally, he is a great man. He works good. He works hard. And shout out to you as well, because I know you're the backbone of his back, and and you doing it all right there for, uh, with him as well. So shout out to both of y'all doing we, that. We make for a real. good team. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, y'all y'all make a really <laughs> great team. Y'all funny as as heck. I I I, I want to see y'all go as a couple one day on stage. I think that would be dope as heck if y'all went <laughs> on couples on stage and just made people laugh. You know what I'm saying? I think that would be dope as heck. Someday. <laughs> hey, that will be dope. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I hope I could make it because like I said, like I talked to Julian, I was like, man, I don't think I could make it on the weekdays because of schedules of, of things. And, and like I said, uh, maybe I, like I said, but he said maybe one day he can do a weekend. Maybe we can get together again, both, all of us, discuss on business and, and make another great show mixed in with comedy. I think it'd be great. I, I totally agree. I think that would be really awesome. And, and, and you and, know what? Uh, if we have to do it, I'll probably uh, discuss with you regarding about right. And if we have to do it in Selma, let's and... let's do it there. But as long as it's a weekend, I'll be able to make that there. <laughs> I'll be able to make that one. <laughs> but I really appreciate you, Elma, for playing. I really appreciate you for being on here, taking your time. I understand, you know, everybody got their life and stuff, so I just really appreciate you for really being on well, here. Well, yeah, I just put my baby to show. sleep, so. <laughs> I, I understand <laughs> that. I really appreciate you guys, though, because it, it's, it, it's you guys. It, it, it's you. A lot of people tell me, yeah, you're great or whatever, you're cool, but it, I, I, I want to give shots out to y'all, the artists, and to you right now because you're the reason why this show is blossoming the way it is. The supporters, the viewers, they're the reasons why this show is happening the way it's happening. And I just, I'm very, just very blessed. And I want to thank y'all. I want to thank you guys. Well, thank you, sir. And we always appreciate what you're doing here. Thank so you. I look forward to when you actually have your cable show. 
Like, oh, know? yeah, I can't wait. And like I told people, I was like, they better not change me because I'll pull a Dave Chappelle and just pull right out. <laughs> You'll do just fine. And by the way, shout out to Dave Chappelle, y'all. Uh, he did inspire me as well to do something like this and, and Snoop Dogg and everyone else. You know, back back in the day, it was Dave Chappelle and then Snoop. I seen him online. So I wanted to do something as well. Just inspired me of those all those guys that that were before me. I, 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 I like I said, I salute and, and I pay homage. And thank you, Elma, for being on here. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm gonna let you go. I know you got some. I know you got children and, and stuff like that. So I'm sorry. I really want to say thank you very much, and and thank you for playing. And I can't wait to see you next weekend. We'll see who wants to battle you. Like I said, whoever wants to battle Elma, everyone, you can message me personally, and you can play the movie trivia game as well. Don't be afraid. It's only a game, right, Elma? That's right, and hopefully you guys won't have to work. Hopefully you'll be able yeah, to work. Yeah, yeah, right, right. You know, because if you guys work, it's all good. Like I said, everyone has their lives. But if you don't, and you guys have time on the Saturday, please message me and you want to play the movie trivia game. Thank you, Elmo. Thank you very much, and have a good night. Same to you. Okay, God bless right. you guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. All right, y'all. That was Elma, y'all. And like I said, we're getting down to the music trivia game and like i said the champion is mecha lokes because she'll have to go last so i'm gonna call austin because austin is the one that's gonna play tonight against mecha again that was the rematch y'all they got tied last weekend for one question right this is a hard one this music trivia game is very difficult and by the way you guys win i mean the movie trivia game came late so I have to figure out what a win on that. But the music trivia game, when you win on that and you win three times, you're going to win a fucking Buffalo Wild Card gift card. And you can eat all the fucking hot wings you want. You know what I'm saying? So here it goes, y'all. Let, let me call Austin, who will also be on the show for an interview after this one as well. So let's see if we can get a hold of Austin. He is supposed to be on the answer thing. Let's see if we can get a hold of my man's in there. Like I said, a lot of people don't understand, but you will win the prize. Is he in there? Are you in there? Hello? There you is. Hello? You there? What's up, brother? Hey, what's going on, Austin? How you doing? Hey, we're, we're playing the music trivia game first, and then I'm going to call you right back after the music trivia game. Okay. So are you ready for the number one question on the music trivia game? Yes, and if I disconnect for a second, it's because my phone's connected to Bluetooth. No problem. I'll call you right back, brother. No problem. All right. What's, uh, what's up? Okay, number one question on the music trivia game. Where was Ramon Ayala born? Uh, fuck. Rosarito, no, Tijuana. Tijuana? Tijuana, wait. Tijuana, he said Tijuana, La Guana, <laughs> Marijuana. No, I'll fight with y'all. Hey, okay. <laughs> Are you sure that's your final answer? Yes, that's final answer. Okay, here it goes. It was Monterey, Mexico. <laughs> but you know what, though? It's all good because, like I said, Austin, I want to thank you also for be when you're going to be on the show again for the interview. And I want to thank everybody right now for tuning in. I want to also thank you for personally taking your time out your life to even be on the show. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, of course, brother. I got you. I thank that. you very much. All right, number two. Are you ready for the number two question? Yes, sir. In 2020... Right, huh? No, sorry. I was like, I'm at Fred's yes right now, so I just got back in Okay, the I know you're living it up right now. Here it goes. Number two, the number two question is, in 2022, Jay Diggs had a hashtag song. Name that song that was a hashtag. Jay Diggs had a song that was a hashtag. That 
that was hashtagged in the front of it. Where? What's the name of that song? This was a newer song. Yeah. Fucking. Damn it. To be honest, I don't even know. I'll give. I'll give you a hint. I'm gonna take a. What's up? Yeah, let me get some. Let me give you a hint. Yeah. Um. Let me get some more lighting. It's more okay. Yeah. Let me give you a hint. The first hint is where. I can't tell you anything else. Where? Yeah. Where they dig? Where they dig that? That is exactly correct. That is exactly <laughs> correct. It is called "Where Is Jay Diggs At." Great job! Great job! You have one right. So, number three, this is a true or false question. I always do the number three's true or false questions. Are you ready for this? Yes, sir. Eddie Murphy sings songs. True or false? Eddie Murphy sings songs. That is correct. That is true. You have two, you have two corrected. Austin is on a roll. He's on that motherfucking board. He's riding, Austin. That's right. Okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Number four. Are you ready for the number four question? Yeah, what's good? All right, here it goes. Mac Dre's mom's first name is? Martha? No, 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 no. Uh, Wanda. Wanda, 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 Wanda. That is correct. It is Wanda. You have three answers correct. You are on a roll. You was on a roll, like a like a cinnamon roll, boy. Great job. You have won three questions. Hey, it was great. You had you had three questions right out of four, and that's what you need to win. I'm gonna see if Meche can get three questions right. If she can't, you are automatically uh you are automatically going to the other round of next weekend to get a chance to win. You gotta win three straight in a row. To, Cause I do really got a gift card for Buffalo Wild Wings, and that's the person whoever wins that is gonna win three times in a row. And they get a they get a Buffalo Wild card, uh, and it got about fifteen dollars on there. So you know what I'm saying? I got about fifteen. Yeah, you can get you can get a personal. <laughs> you can get a personal. Appetizer one time. Get that little appetizer going. You feel me? So, like I said, thank you, Austin. Any shout outs you want to give to anybody? Uh, let me give a shout out to all my people. You know what I'm saying? You know who you are. Shout out to Manito, Mars, right. Lord, Pope. Okay. All my people, you know what I mean? And fuck you who made that TikTok. Oh, what somebody made a TikTok? TikTok? Yeah, there's a TikTok that they made. We'll talk about that later when you call me later on. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so fuck everybody who made TikTok. If, if somebody made TikTok, who, the owners of TikTok, he says fuck them. Fuck the owners of TikTok. Hey, but it's cool. Free publicity, but they're using, they're using our name. They're going to get some clout. So oh, okay. I see what that is. I'm so sorry about that, y'all. I do not want drama on my show, but I understand you, Austin. I feel you, brother. But like I said, I'm going to call you back in a little bit. I'm gonna call Metcha Lokes and see how she's doing, and and I wanna see I wanna see if she can compete with you, cause if she ties, like I said, y'all will go into a double time over uh, rematch. But if not, you win. Like I said, you got three out of four. Okay. All right, Austin. I'll call you back in a bit. All right, family. All right, family. All right, one. All right, y'all. Looks like things are heating up for Austin, y'all. You know what I'm saying? He's sitting on a stove, a microwave, or whatever the fuck you want to do. But like I said, y'all, this is the Late Night High Show. And like I said, I don't want no drama. I hope y'all voted for your artists, and I hope you liked my page. Because to, to vote for, my, for the artists that you're supporting, you have to like the page first. So here we go. We're going to call my homegirl, Metcha Lokes, and hopefully she could win three out of four or even higher because if not we got a new champion under our hand y'all so here we go let me call my home girl up you know what i'm saying shout out to Metcha as well you know what i'm saying she's been a supporter since day one i remember doing uh the last show at the next bar and she said hey storm you think i could get that opportunity and she wasn't even on the list 
And being generous as I am, like I said, I just want to put that out there because I am a generous man. And I said, you know what? Yeah, go up on there. And I wasn't, I wasn't disappointed. She rocked that motherfucker, and it was a blessing. Shout out to also uh, Big Drew, Big Drew Entertainment. Shout out to uh, Metcha Los because she put it down, y'all. And she will be also next week on the female battle of Slap of the Week. Now let's get a hold of Metcha. And let's see if she's ready. She's usually at Chevron serving cigarettes and shit. So let's see what she... Let's see if I can get my homegirl Metcha on there. Y'all be so kind to be, uh... To just please have patience. I usually give the people call back twice before I disqualify them. So if she don't answer the first time... I will call back again. Man, I'm off this Hennessy, y'all. I probably, you know, they say your your body's filled with water. And I feel like I feel, I feel like my body's filled with Hennessy and not water. <laughs> Even though I drink a lot of water now, I feel like my body's filled with Hennessy more than water. Ooh, shit, she didn't answer? That's not cool. Let me add, let me call one more time, y'all, because like I said, sometimes you can be very busy. But like I said, I do give people another a courtesy call just in case they miss the call. So let's see. Hopefully she answers. Yep. There she is. Hey, I knew you would let me down. How you doing, Metcha? I'm good, I'm good. Are you at work right now? Yeah, but I'm holding it down. It's, it's nobody in here right now. Right, right. And I appreciate you taking the time. Like I said, some people can, some people can't, but I appreciate you taking the time out your life and and, and actually and, and, and I wanna just thank you for really playing and participating. Thank you. Are are you ready for the question? I'm all yeah, I don't know why I can barely hear you though. Can you turn up your volume a little bit or something? <laughs> <laughs> are you ready for the are you ready for the are you ready for the thing? Yeah, let's do it. Let me give it hey give a shout out to somebody real quick though for for before we start. Okay, I'm gonna give a shout out to you know my producer Big Drew. I'm gonna give a shout out to my boy Star. Thank you. Thank thank you. Thank you, Mention. Okay, oh yeah, yeah, you yeah, she dope. Everybody, all them females are dope. I listened to them already. They're dope as fuck. I cannot wait for y'all. I cannot wait for y'all. This is going to be a fucking tight match. It's going to be all y'all four women against each other, but friendly. It has nothing to do with who's the best. Like I said, it's whoever uh, votes for you more. It's not about who's the best. It's how many supporters and votes you can get. You know what I mean? But it's always good to listen to other people's music. I love it. I thrive off of it. I, I salute to you women in hip-hop, rap, in, in, in R&B, rock, or whatever you do. I salute to I salute to y'all because y'all, like I said, the men, you guys got ambition too. You guys are trying to get things going too. So I salute to y'all women out there in, in 559 and everywhere else. That's putting it down. So thank you, Metcha, for putting it down for our town. Okay, okay, it's all good. It's all good. It was my fault. I was talking a lot. That's what I do when I'm on Hennessy, y'all. I talk a lot. <laughs> By the way, y'all, I want to say thank you for very much for tuning in to the Late Night Hype Show. Please like and, and also... Go to my YouTube page and subscribe to that. I know there's a lot of crazy ass songs that I made and shit like that. And it's on YouTube and it's by phone. But maybe y'all enjoy that. And plus, y'all will look at the late night high shows from then and last year. So are you ready, Mitch? Yeah, let me catch the Okay, no problem. No problem. Like I said, blame the fuck out of me because I'm always talking. I never learned my lesson, y'all. I was slapped the fuck up by my mama. When I didn't, <laughs> I was slapped the fuck up by my mama because I couldn't shut up and shit. She was like, shut the fuck up. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Okay, go ahead. Show me the first one. All right, here it goes. Number one, 
How many studio albums does Mariah have all together? And remember, Mariah's been around for a while. Oh, yes, I know. Let me give you the hint. It is yeah, up there. I'm going to give you the hint. It is up there. No, don't just touch that. Okay, hey, go ahead. Give me a hint. The hint, it, it is up there. So don't, th I mean, Mariah Carey made a lot of studio albums, so it is up there. Just let me, let me put that, you know, respectfully. It is up there. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, she made a lot of albums, but it's up to you to decide on what number it is. You got 15 seconds. The, the clue oh, was, number? the clue was it's more than, than, than a, than a single number. Than a single number, so it's all right, thank you guys. And I'll bet you Okay, um, um, I'm gonna say, this. Uh, uh, like 20, 30, I don't know. Somewhere you got four <laughs> seconds. Think about it real good. It's not out of, it's not a ridiculous number, but, but it is a lot. Okay. You got two. Okay. One, what? just give me an answer. I don't know. How much? 20. 20. That is incorrect. I'm sorry. It is 15. It was 15. I'm sorry. It was incorrect. But you know what, Mention? Like I said, you got number two to go. You got three more. So you need to tie this one to, to, to match him because he won three out of, okay. out of four. Are you ready? Yes. Where was Bruno Mars born? Mars. Let me let me give you a hint. It's an island. Okay. Um. Oh, shit, Colombia. It's an island. Is that your final answer? It's an island. Oh, shoot, island. Oh my god. Um. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. God damn it! No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are, are you, you want me to tell you then? Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Fuck. All right, it was uh, it was Honolulu, Hawaii. Honolulu, Hawaii. Sorry, I couldn't even see. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. Here's a true or false question. Okay. Did Timberland produce Aaliyah's album? One in a million. True or false? Did, did who? Timberland. Producer Timberland. Did he produce Aaliyah's album One in a Million? True or false? Timberland. Uh, I want to say true. That is correct. You are correct on that. That is true. Okay. Good job, Mitchell. You got one, but fuck it. You playing for pride now. <laughs> <laughs> It's all good. Hey, you can come back, Mention. If no one else wants to play the music trivia game, hey, no, you can come back and still win that uh, chicken wing thing. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. Are you ready? Number four. Okay. Who made the song "I'll Take You to the Candy Shop"? That is correct. You had two. If you would have just won one more. You would have been tied for a rematch, but Austin won you by one more. But you know what, Mitchell? Like I said, if no one wants to play, I will call you back if you st if you want to run if you want to run it back. You are a great. You are a great. Like I said, you are a great host. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm a host. You are a great <laughs> challenger. I mean, you get it most of the time, but I'm sorry that it was it was kind of hard for you today, and I understand. That you have work right now as well, so you're trying to concentrate on that. But like I said, Metche, if no one wants to participate in the music trivia game, you are more than welcome back. Is that okay? For sure. For I get sure. your run back. So, Austin, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Metche, do you have any shots outs before you want to go? Okay, well, thank you, Mecha. Thank you very much for, for participating. I really appreciate it. Okay, for sure. Okay, God bless you. Thank you. Be, be safe. Okay, here it goes. 
Yo, that was mentioned, Losey. Give a shout out to Austin because Austin's the one that won that. Now, I'm going to leave you with a track right now because, and, and the first time in history, I need to take a piss. And I'm sorry if the, please don't have these kids watching if they're 18 and over because I just said piss. I have to take a strong piss, y'all. So I'll be right back. Uh, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with a track real quick that I, I said I was going to play earlier. Let me see if I can find it before I piss on myself, y'all. Because the, the Hennessy is running out of my body like it ain't been, like it's a sweat, like without socks, y'all. So hold on real quick and let me see if I can get this shit going. I'm going to leave y'all, like I said, like I said, y'all, let me know what y'all think about today's episode and everything else. And like I said, the episode, I mean, the show is only growing more and more. And I just want to say thank you guys for everybody tuning in. And I know it's late, but I know you can get up tomorrow morning and still watch it. But like I said, let me, let me, let me, uh, let me, uh, oh, you know what? Let me leave you with a song like this. I'll be right back, y'all. Like I said, I need to take a strong piss and I need to get some more Hennessy. I'll be right back. Till I get them off, man, where I'm staying. Till I find out I'm better slow, bro. I'm in the past. I'm stuck in the Super Bowl, hey, baby, where you give me anything I ask for? What you I like the Hennessy jug in a pot of weed. In the hey, leg, hey, fucking on the balcony. Huh? I had to get huh? quiet, cause the company. Right. You asked me, right. will I ever see you again? What? Nah, baby, right. I'ma really have to keep it down. And I need to go back there all again for me. If I'm gonna fuck with your friends. Man, if I die, would you die? Would you slide for me? What? If I'm sitting what? down, would you move these packs for me? Need to ask me these questions before you can even get close to a homie. I, 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 I. Would you really take the bus walk? Would you, would you, would you come see me, come see me? Would you really bring three friends so we can fuck? Just like you, huh? Huh? You really, really wanna be freaky? Huh? Huh? For me, for me. Oh, I got a lot of habits, girl. The Hennessy is on me. The Hennessy is on me. I really gotta fight it, or bite it, or like it, or try it. Cause I'm a fucker, that's one that's gonna be excited. I know, I know. All right, all right. All right, oh shit. Hey, y'all, catch up, but all right, all right. Like I said, y'all. I mean, I'm going past over my limit, but y'all, we need to talk to Austin a little bit. I have a couple of questions for him, so. Let's get to him real quick, y'all. That was me freestyling and recorded over the phone, so I do apologize if y'all don't like it. It's, it's low quality or whatever, whatnot, but that's just me, and I, I love doing what I'm doing. So here we go. Let, let me call my man Austin. We're going to get this shit over with, y'all, and I do know that you guys need sleep, and probably people want to party still and, and do what they got to do. So I want to thank everybody, artists that are tuning in right now, all the artists, I please... Put your name under there so I can see that you're tuning in, y'all. Or there's a chance that you might be disqualified. So let me get Austin back on the line and talk to him about what he's doing today. What's good, my man? I called you back because it is Hello? it is time for the interview. Hello. Hello. What's up, brother? Hello. Hello. Can you go? They're like my brother would say. He said, "Hello." <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's good, Austin? Okay. Well, now I got a fan question for you. Yeah. So, where were you born and raised? Fresno, California. Okay. Okay. So Austin, what do you got going for yourself right now? I mean, what what's popping right now? Do you got any sh do you got any shows that you're promoting in the future? Do you got anything going right now that that is shows or anything music wise or anything? Um, as far as shows wise, there's no shows um that we currently are going to do 
grow okay. than I know of. Okay. Uh, um, but we'll definitely be doing some in the future. Okay. So we've all just been kind of taking a little, uh, little hiatus because things have been kind of, you know. Right, right, right. Yeah, things have been kind of spunky, or spunky around town. So you right, know, right. The just, COVID you know, shit is real, and it's it's also a lot a of vacation. hating going on for some reason, and it sucks because if everyone got together, it'd be a whole different story. But right now, the <laughs> Fresno looks like it's divided and shit, and that's not the way it's supposed to be. That's a fact. That's definitely a fact. Right, and, uh, right, people, right. And I understand that. But you know what? I got to keep wanna, doing what I'm doing against, for y'all. Man. So no matter who's tuning in, all these promoters that are all even on my page that that don't tune in, it's all good because I still got to do what I got to do. So, uh, Austin, um, what was your last What was your last show that you promoted? Uh, Tim Toby. Uh, my boy Manito, he brought Tim Toby uh, March 11th. It was at La Mason Kebab. It was Tim Toby, Bounce okay. Back Meek, okay. Lil Sage, bruh, okay. and Lil Suede. Okay. Lil Kayla was supposed to be added on, but uh, right. she uh, added on. She's going to do her own solo show. I don't know if right, right, okay. right. Yeah, she's on She's on next. And she's gonna, yeah, we have a show going for her. Um, the details for that are coming soon. Right, okay. Um, Shout out I'm to them. I'm not a part of it, but OGZ oh, is coming to, what is it, Rainbow? Is Rainbow, no? Yeah, I think uh, OG's coming to Rainbow. You know, I'm not okay. part of that. But I, mean, saying, yeah, I you know. heard the fuck out of that. Okay, yeah, so. Yeah, uh, OG's I heard is coming. Akeek the Snake, I believe, is coming. What is it, tomorrow? Oh, okay. Or, uh, soon, if not That's tomorrow. what's up. Next weekend, but next weekend. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, I take it like this, you know. I support who supports me. If I don't feel like they're not, if anybody ain't support me, I'm not going to support a show that ain't support my show. I'm sorry, but that's yeah, just the definitely. way I am. So if anybody ain't support yeah. me, I'm not going to support them. You know what I mean? And I see a lot of my boys on other people's shows, and I'm like, I support y'all, but I'm not going to share anything because they don't share my show. And it's all about support. That's all I'm saying. Uh, if everyone could support everyone, it would be a whole different story, but nobody does that. Rappers out here are divided. The promoters are divided. You know what I mean? The DJs are divided. It's just crazy, because, but we all know each other. You know what I mean? So it's 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 crazy yeah. because one knows one, one knows the other. You know what I mean? But like I said, hopefully everyone gets together and, 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 and gets rid of that disgusting ass, I'm better than you or whatever type of attitude and just work together because the snow has potential to work together and, and do big things and do big, big Hold things. Hold that thought one second. Give me two seconds. Two seconds. I'm going to hang up and then connect it to my phone. Okay. No doubt. No doubt. Two seconds. Two seconds. He's going to give you two seconds, y'all. He said two seconds. That's one, two. And yes, he is correct. God damn, he hit it on a dot. He said, I'm going to give you two. Uh, give me yeah, two seconds. And two seconds, he popped up in that motherfucker like a Pop-Tart. <laughs> <laughs> so, Austin, yeah. I mean, um, when, 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 you, when you do your thing, um, who, who's actually riding with you? Are you the only one that promotes it, or like, who, oh, who's no, the there's, ones there's that you really that fuck promote, with out here? There's a, my boy, uh, my boy Manito. He's the one that's a part of bringing all these shows, man. He's the one. Okay. You know what I mean? He's the one. You know, he's the main. He's the backbone of Manito. You know. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. So Manito, he's the one that puts them all together, and we're just being his homies, and you know, me just being his boy, I help him out and share it. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Okay, I want the boy to have this show. You know what I mean? And, you know what I mean? What helps? You know what I mean? That's, that's the type of dude I am. You know, I, right. I have a good time when everybody has a good time. You know right, what I mean? right. That's, that's the way that's, it's supposed to be. That's what I get out of it. Right, right. That's, right. that's the way it's supposed to be, man. So let me you know. know. Um, things, but, you know, that's what. Yeah. Or, that's, or, that's mainly why do, you, do you have yeah. children? I do. I have a daughter. She's uh, okay. she's gonna be nine this year. All right. Her name is Audrey. That's yeah, what's I believe up. You go full custody. Yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, so. my man, doing things. Okay. Well, sorry, hey, you already know Father Duty's yeah. come first before anything. And shout out to Austin doing the daddy duties oh. the way he's supposed shout to. Shout out to all the single dads out there. Man. That's right, man. Shout all out. the single dads that is real dedicated to their kids. Yeah, shout out to y'all, yeah, man. Shout out oh, to y'all. Even if you ain't got to be I'm single, single, neither. Person. Even if y'all together but, but that, and you're you know dedicated I mean? to the that children. That, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout them out. Shout them out to the fathers, man. And the mothers as yeah, well, man. God bless y'all. 
Okay, so Austin, I, I got four questions before I hang up with y'all because it's late in the month. I got four questions. Hey, I don't mind talking. Like I said, I, <laughs> he said, oh, I don't mind talking. I know, but it's late as fuck. I know my artist is probably like, God damn, this motherfucker. All right, so let me know. Yeah, I know I'm down to chill, bro. Like I, said, I, I feel you. I, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I, I feel you. I, I wish I could go up, on. Brother. Let's get these views. Give me some good for the city. It's right. Keep it positive. I right. want to get a podcast going. Right. That's what I got in the works, bro. I got him. I want to get a podcast going. I want to oh, work yeah, with my boy yeah. Spider. Right. My boy Spider. If anybody knows my boy Spider, you know spider? the fucking vibes. Who Spider Man? Yeah, spider. Or just but, Spider? You know the fucking vibe. Not Spider Man, just yeah, Spider, boy, right? No, just Spider. Yeah. Okay. You okay. Know, you know. You know what I'm I thought you was talking about Peter podcast. Parker for a minute. I was like, okay. Shout out to Peter yeah, Parker. No, you know what I'm saying? My man right. likes Peter Parker. But Spider, yeah, shout out to Spider, uh, yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. I got the boy you. That, uh, he I does, got you. Uh, um, a lot of me those promo videos and things like that. You know. What okay. I mean? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Guy, you know, he's that guy. You know, he's okay. Uh huh. He's one of those. Uh -huh. Shout out to uh -huh. my Spider. Uh, man, I'm so huh? much off of Hennessy. I'm about to go to sleep right now. Right after this show. So here yeah, it goes. Are you ready for? <laughs> Are you ready for? The, I'm old myself, already. Bro. This motherfucker. I might not look like it, bro. I mean, I'm I'm looking like it. Cause I got bags under my eyes like I'm carrying a motherfucking grocery cart, but I'm good though. <laughs> yeah, man, hey, I'm, hey, man, check I'm, this. I'm, out. I'm just drinking myself, but I was at Fred's yes, so you know what I'm saying. Okay, was, shout out to Fred's yes. Okay, shout out to Cali, my cousin Cali. Right, shout out to, to Cali, man. Brother, I fuck brother, with him so. too. I fuck with him. Hey, shout out yeah, to Cali, you know, man. Cali. Hey, what's good, Cali? You know what I mean? That's another yeah, DJ up, that's Cali? doing He's his thing. Up right now, I just left him right now. Okay. Yeah, but okay. Yeah, Are you man. ready for these ridiculous questions? Of course. Of All right, course. here it goes. Love it. Love Indica it. or sativa? Sativa. Okay, oh, and, and tell me why. Tell your supporters or your fans or anybody who, who fucks with you why you like sativa instead of indica. I like sativa because I'm a I'm a mental type of guy. You know what I mean. I like, <laughs> you know what I mean. I like that. I like to hit my mind. Okay. I don't like. I don't want to be lazy. I don't, I don't like to be right. lazy. I don't like to do things. Okay. You know I mean? okay. Okay. I like to be able to, you know, activate. Okay. So activate your curls and shit. Light grains. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here it goes. Favorite movie of all time. <sighs> yeah, it's gonna be between. Uh, damn. Yeah, it was gonna be between American Gangster and Nightmare Before Christmas. I know. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I was just explaining why I, I like weird ass strange movies too, and they're women movies. Yeah, you know I mean, I was talking about hey. Secret Bees and shit. Motherfuckers are probably gonna look at me like, what the fuck? But like I Shout said, I like Martin, all kinds bro. of hey, movies, Coraline, man. Coraline, is one of my other favorites, bro. Coraline, me and my daughter love Coraline, bro. Right, right, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, bro. I see. You. I was like, look, I'm a little emo kid at heart. Look at my shorts, bro. You know hey, okay. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, yeah, hey, I got see. Got looking class. <laughs> got a looking see. class sponsor okay. me, bro. Yeah, he. Need that. I'm gonna okay. Need that. What that 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 that? Oh, okay. He got that 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 that. Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> all right, number uh, number three. What's up? Booty or tits? Booty. Okay. Explain why you like the booty more than tits. <laughs> I mean, you, you could be PG-13 you know, with it. You ain't got to give them the full, the full aspect, you know what I mean? But just tell me why you like, you like, you like booty more than titties. The full... <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I'm... You know, if you know, you know. You know okay. If you know, you know. We'll keep it at that. Right, right. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, put it at that. If you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Favorite quote that you use at a bar? Use at a bar? Yeah, quote that you use. A quote for yourself that you use at a bar. What's your favorite quote? If okay, you, if, see, say, uh, for instance, if you're trying to mack to a love... woman, okay. what's your favorite bar? What do you start with? Wait, okay. All right, I'll separate that. So I have, I do have a favorite quote, yes. Okay, um, well, we can give that. That's separate from a quote that I would say at a bar. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, well, let's give you a favorite quote then. What's your favorite quote? Uh, Man, my favorite quote would... Uh, man, you know what? 
what a thing that I live by uh, a lot, as, even as a kid, what really stuck with me, I don't know why, uh, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. That is true. That, uh, and that, you know, something, I don't know why I, sunk, I hung on that as a kid, and then right. it's crazy enough, uh, right. that Kanye West song came out, you know, and he, like, kind of expanded on that, but, but yeah, man, that's always been a quote that I've been, uh, that I've been, uh, that I held on to. Is it Wagner? Oh. Damn. Okay. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, whatever it is that kill you makes you stronger will probably be one of my favorite quotes. Right. I, okay. That I, Okay. Hold on to. Okay. Hard to fucking Gosh damn. Uh. Well, Austin, I want to appreciate you for being on the interview of the late night high show. I'm sorry, but it is very fucking late, and I gotta go. <laughs> shit. Oh. I'm surprised this motherfucker ain't stopped this shit. And I know my artists are probably like eyes are heavy than a motherfucker. They're probably like, get the fuck oh. off alive already. Oh, my, bad, my bad. My bad. Hey, my bad, y'all. No, no, it's all yeah. good. It's my all bad, good, man. It's hey, all love. Artist, bro. I'll catch no, you. no, it's, it's all, all love, bro. Austin. It's all love, man. They already know what time it is. I'm pretty sure they already know what time it is. The only person I let get away that went to sleep would probably be the one from Alabama because it's probably like fucking one or two over there and shit. You know what oh, I mean? Shit. I understand yeah, that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm sorry, brother. Hey, my bad, fam. I'm sorry. I no, no, it ain't man. you. Sorry, it ain't you. Like I said, it, that's why it's called the Late Night Hype Show. You know what I mean? That's why it's called the Late Night Hype Show. It's but Late like, Night and I'm hyped. <laughs> that's right that's right that's right all right well austin thank you very much and god bless you brother any shout outs you want to give before you before before i let you go shout out my shout out god shout out my daughter audrey i love you mama love you hey uh shout out my parents shout out my people you know who you are brother hey shout out fresno no time right right let's get it thank you, you very much that. austin huh all right brother and fuck me the tiktok <laughs> god bless all you right, man brother. you have a good night family. Thank you very much. Of course, brother. All right, one. Y'all, that was Austin, y'all. And like I said, it was so late that I did things that I just freestyled those questions. And it's crazy because that's what I did. Like, I freestyled all the song. I was like, fuck, let me freestyle some questions. I forgot to write down the whole... You know, I have a helper who writ, writes down for my shit. So shout out to my helper. She's always doing things for me. And I really appreciate it. She she done this for me. So I want to say thank you very much for her as well. And also, y'all, for next weekend on the Late Night High Show will be DJ Lee. And not only that, we're going to have who won on who's next to go against uh, Slim 86 and whoever else might have won this tonight. So y'all got to peep it out until 2 p.m. You can vote. And like I said, there cannot be multiple vo multiple votes, y'all. Next weekend, we're going to have the, the girls' battle and the guys' battle. Plus DJ Lee next weekend. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Late Night Hype Show. I want to say thank you for all the artists that are tuning in. And if they could please do that one more time. To let me know that they're watching. Um, Rated Sosa. I don't know if you're on here. But hopefully you're on here brother. Because your shit is dope. And you already know we fans of each other. And shit like that. So hopefully you on here. If not. Like I said. People will get disqualified. But like I said. I probably will let Brandon go. Uh, sorry. B Chopper go. Because he is from the south y'all. And it is hella fucking late over there. And if you guys think that it's unfair, please message me and we'll talk about it. But I think, personally, y'all, it's out of respect. If he ain't on here, it's because he's hella fucking tired. And it's probably 1 o'clock over there while it's... I mean, it's probably 4 o'clock over there now or 3 o'clock while it's probably 1 or 2, 12 o'clock over here. So thank you guys for tuning in. And thank you guys for being a part of the Late Night Hive Show. And like I said, next weekend we're doing this shit again. Mecha Lokes lost, but if nobody wants to uh, uh, play Mecha Lokes, Mecha Lokes, then somebody else can. I mean, if uh, then then if Mecha Lokes, uh, somebody, sorry, <laughs> fucking drunk, y'all. Okay, let me do this again. If she, if no one decides to play on the music trivia, then Mecha Lokes will automatically go back on because she wants revenge on Austin. But congratulations to Austin. And Elma, Mad Dog, I'm sorry that you had it that you had to work. I know things are possibly always on the bad foot, but like I said, shout out to everybody who fucks with me 
on the Late Night House Show. I love y'all. Thank you very much. And tune in next weekend. I'm going to go drink some more honey, smoke a lot of fucking weed, and probably go online and do what I got to do. But guess what? If you missed this and you're a fan of this show, you can always go on my YouTube page, subscribe, and it's Storm a Latte Gator Empire, and watch all the Late Night Hype shows there from last year to this year. Thank you guys very much. God bless you. Please stay away from COVID. And like I said, if you have family or friends that you haven't talked to in a while, I advise you to talk to them before something, before something happens and you guys regret it. Believe me. There's a there. It's just it's it's just unnecessary for you guys not to get along. Please think about it. God bless you guys and tune in next time to the late night hype show. Thank you guys.